This year has already started off with a bang with Boruto Chapter 77 just dropping last week. Kawaki has just done a 180 and is now turned into the antagonist in the story. Some would even say that Kawaki has turned evil and his actions are impossible to come back from. Kawaki has just did the unspeakable and sent not only Naruto but Hinata into a different dimension in order to quote unquote protect them. He did this by using his dojutsu and not his karma seal, which is important and will be discussed later. Kawaki as a character is so obsessed with Naruto that he's willing to go as far as sending Naruto away somewhere. Kawaki is mentally unstable. For someone to be abused their whole life and then finally find a safe space, he's not right in the head with the way he's acting. This doesn't excuse what he did, but it makes a lot more sense when you look at what he's done. Kawaki seems hell bent on making sure that there are no more Asusukis present on Earth. Kawaki's goals also keep changing up every couple of weeks, right? He goes from blaming Karma and Jigen and Amado to now blaming the Osuskis. It seems like Kawaki is sort of having trouble grasping what his goal is exactly. When Kawaki realized Momoshiki and Boruto were interacting with each other, he was beyond frustrated and even had the audacity to tell Naruto and Hinata that he was disappointed that he did not actually kill Boruto. Ever since Boruto got possessed and turned on Naruto, Kawaki realized that no matter what, no matter who, he cannot have someone around like that who can put the Hokage in harm's way. Now with Naruto and Hinata out the way, he can continue his mission without any interruptions. Kawaki has fully turned evil and is about to unleash havoc on Boruto. The downside to this is that Boruto is in the leaf village so everyone is about to witness this unfold. Going back to the earlier point about Naruto and Hinata being sent away, it seems like this is where Kawaki was indicating in episode 1 when he told Boruto he was sent to where he sent the 7th. This is something which I have predicted before and it kind of makes sense that it turned out this way due to Kawaki's unhealthy bond with Naruto, but this is very confusing as it doesn't make any sense to why Kawaki would want to send Boruto to where Naruto is. If his mission is to kill all the Osuskis, why would he try to preserve Boruto's life? You would think that Kawaki has full intentions of killing Boruto right there and then. The only possible thing I can think of is that during their next fight, something happens between the two that makes Kawaki change his mind slightly. Or maybe Boruto unlocked the Jogon and that prevents it from completing his plan of wiping out the Osuskis. I feel like it's hard to gauge right now, but as it stands, it does seem like he wants to put Boruto in a similar dimension that he put Naruto and Hinata in. Also, remember, in this dimension, time does not flow. This is the same dimension Jigen was using to store objects and was indicated in Mortal Chapter 77 that he used his dojutsu to send Naruto away and not his karma seal. The two activate different space time than jutsus and he's using the one that Jigen slash Ashiki had. Also, because time doesn't flow, Naruto and Hinata will not get any older in this dimension I presume. So it'll be very interesting to see once these two actually get out of this dimension. Also, I think Boruto will not be able to find them in this dimension because Kawaki sent them with his Shikis, Dojutsu and not the actual Karma So Now that Kawaki can go on with completing his plan, I imagine things will start to go left fast. Boruto is beginning to lose everything close to him just like Momoshiki said. He lost Naruto, Hinata and may possibly lose some more people in the crossfire. Damon and Ada are present and honestly Kawaki may have them on his side which can be an issue due to Ada's ability to make people be infatuated with her and her being able to command those people. This could be why in Boruto's vision in one of the most recent chapters he saw himself or someone fighting his teammates. I imagine this could be because of Ada and because Ada is tied to Kawaki and is sort of trying to win him over I can imagine that Ada would, would do anything that Kawaki wants her to do thus forming an alliance between Ada, Damon, and Kawaki. But from here on out, Kawaki seems to be enemy number one. Unfortunately, due to Naruto's loose ruling on Kawaki, he has suffered the consequences of handling this situation poorly. So what's next for the Leaf? Because Naruto let Kawaki roam around the village carefree, because Kawaki was not put in some sort of facility, put somewhere else outside of the Leaf Village, and allowed to live in Naruto's home and sort of act freely, now Naruto is sort of facing the consequences of all those things. So what's next for the Leaf? The moment Kawaki is put to blame for this, he will be an enemy of the Leaf immediately. Kawaki has no more ground to stand on and the other great nations will recognize this as well. Kawaki keeps getting stronger and stronger and it's only a matter of time before it's too much for the world to handle. Some would say that Kawaki already is. The only person able to stop him seems to be Boruto if you don't count Damon being on Kawaki's side potentially. 
How many people will Kawaki kill to achieve this goal of ridding the world of the Osuskis? Is this goal even feasible in the first place? Kawaki does not realize that how many Osuskis are present out there or if any other Osuskis even plan to come to Earth. I imagine in the future, some more Osuskis will come to Earth, so I wonder if Kawaki's goal may change later on. Will people like Shikamaru or Sasuke get caught in this crossfire and will someone like Sasuke die before or after the time skip? Boruto is wearing Sasuke's clothes, so a lot of people sort of predict that something's going to happen where Sasuke dies and his clothing and his weaponry is passed on to Boruto. And with Naruto gone, is Code finally going to attack and will the fight between Boruto and Kawaki give Code the chance to destroy the leaf? Kawaki is as unhinged as ever and we're about to get one of the best villains so far. Do you think that Kawaki can be redeemed or do you think this is the final straw and he can't come back from this? The Boruto time skip seems like it's very close with this upcoming fight and I think it's about time that the part one of Boruto plot gets wrapped up because things are about to go downhill from here. Kawaki has finally turned a new leaf and he's about to kill his brother again. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And I also want to say thank you guys for helping me reach 1k subscribers. We finally hit it about one to two weeks ago. I just forgot to include it in the video. Hopefully, you know, just on the way to becoming partnered now. So appreciate everybody that's been watching and going to continue on the grind like usual. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Safe. Safe. Safe.